Austin Sine, he's our center referee. He gets us going here from Highmark, Pittsburgh, and Charleston with the battery controlling in their road whites. Pitt Level of consistency just hasn't been there. And while their ceiling is quite high, they haven't been touching it enough. So whether it was the ATL UTD2 game, the Red Bull game, they just can't keep it up enough. Cicerone into the middle looking for Kelly. It falls for Angelo Kelly, side netting. Dane Kelly helping it on for Ibarra. Another lovely layoff and a chance to maybe cross this into the middle. Cicerone swings and misses. Still a chance. Good save in the end. Angelo Kelly on the follow-up. Misses it. Cicerone's going to want that back. That's the exact run. You get down to the byline, bring it diagonally back across. U.S. Open Cup final against Orlando City. That's coming up next month. As Jamali waits. Lost it. Goalkeeper's off his line. Charleston can walk it in. It's headed off the line. Or of Riverhounds defending. Another look at it here. Sean watches feet coming to his right hand side off the deflection. He's got to plant and backtrack and find a way to go vertical. And now they can. A much more advantageous angle. Good ball whipped in. Wheat with the header. And he couldn't quite square it up to get it on target. As much as Charleston really haven't gotten the engine revved up here in this game, Pittsburgh have not quite done so either, although Peters picks the pass off. In the end, strikes for goal. Crawford lifts it in. There was a drag in the penalty area. Hogan went down. It's earlier, though, as the ball comes out. There's so much space on the back post. Great outlet ball by... Charleston from the set piece. Crawford whipping it in. Williams tapped Save. over the top by Waite. Let the battery have a free kick, and that may very well be that. That's it. That is the last act full time.